Most people when they think of buying RV accessories probably think of places like Camping World and Walmart. But today I wanna to share with you a place that you may not think of, but you can find some really good accessories for RV. Welcome back everyone, my name is Patrick and I am so glad you stopped by Travels with Delaney today. We are your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. Now, I wanna talk about some accessories and tools for our RV and our RV adventures. And these are items that I picked up at an unlikely place, Harbor Freight Tool. I would like to mention that Harbor Freight is not sponsoring this video and they did not give us any of the products that you're seeing. I bought everything in this video, but I would like to thank our friends over at Happy Acres campground in Angola, Indiana for their support of our channel. If you're headed to Northeast Indiana on an RV trip, make sure you go to camphappyacres.com and check them out. Now, most people use wheel chocks as a way to secure their trailer once it's parked so it can't roll on the campsite. And many people, including myself for years, use those little plastic wheel chocks. But recently I decided to replace ours because quite honestly, they get old, they get brittle and they can crack. And this time I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up these little rubber wheel chocks. Now, I love these. They're solid rubber, so they're not gonna get brittle and crack like those cheap plastic ones. And what I like about these is they come with a little built-in handle. They're easy to maneuver. Now, at Harbor Freight, these actually come in two sizes. This is the smaller size. They actually make a bigger one. But because we're so conscious about cargo capacity on our RV, I decided to opt for the smaller ones. But if I was not concerned about the weight that was going into our trailer, I would probably spend a little bit more money and bought the bigger ones. But these actually work really nice. Now, Speaking of items that deal with our tires, I picked up several items at Harbor Freight that work really well for me. And number one is a portable air compressor. Now this is the little Pittsburgh 12 volt, 150 PSI. I know you can get a name brand one that's a lot better, but this one I only paid $80 for last year. And honestly, it works well for what I need it for. If we need to put a little air in the tires, it has the power to do it. Or if I'm just filling up the air in our bicycle tires, it works well for that as well. It's fairly lightweight, small. It comes with a little cloth carrying case. It came with all the hoses, even has a built-in pressure gauge. Now I will say it's not the most accurate, but it gets me at least close and then I'll pull this off and use my actual one. And as far as powering it, it just has a long cord that comes with these clips. Clip it right to a battery, either the tow vehicle or the batteries on board of our RV. And I can go ahead and fill up the tires. Now, if I need to actually change a tire, I always like to carry one of these four in one lug nut wrenches. Number one, it has four different sizes for different lug nut sizes. That's convenient. And the fact I love that I can actually get a good grip to actually loosen the lug nuts if I do need to change a tire or if I need to quickly tighten one, this works as well. So I always carry this in our tow vehicle because it works both for the RV and the truck. Now, if I do end up removing the tires for whatever reason, and I wanna tighten those lug nuts back up properly, then you need a torque wrench. And honestly, a torque wrench is something I use very rare. And so I went to Harbor Freight and picked up this Pittsburgh brand torque wrench. It's real simple. I even went with the most basic one they had. I didn't go with the digital. This one, you just make some manual adjustments. It's easy to uh, set to what torque you need. And I have this, so if I need to torque the lug nuts on the trailer or the truck, I can do that. Or I can even use it for things like our weight distribution hitch when I installed it. I could torque those to the proper recommended torquing. So it's just a tool I don't use a lot of, but I wanted to have one and Harbor Freight was a great place to pick it up. The last thing down here at the tires is I grease my own axles and we have the easy loop on these. So it means that I can periodically go in and change the grease on these axles. And I picked up this grease gun at Harbor Freight. Now this thing I think was around $16 but no more than I'm going to use it. This works just perfect for what I want. It's just the hand crank style, which works perfect because you don't want to put in too much grease at a time um, when you're greasing your axles. I actually have a separate video on that that you can check out on how I actually grease my own axles, but I have found this works perfect. Just carry it again in the bed of the truck and that way I always have a grease gun if I need it. Now, another item that I like to pick up at Harbor Freight deals with the sewer system. Now, I'm not talking about the actual hoses and fittings and things like that, but 
rubber gloves. Now, if you're one of those people that likes to wear rubber gloves when you're working on your sewer system, Harbor Freight is actually a great place to pick these up. They sell them by the box. They have a great selection. So I just go to Harbor Freight, buy a box of these. They'll last me the entire camping season. We needed a wrench that would fit the plug on our water heater. And so I ended up going to Harbor Freight and getting a small set of tools that included the right size socket. What I really like about this set is it came with extensions as well as a ratchet and this long handle which allows me to get up in here and get the grip I need so that I can go ahead and tighten up the plug or remove the plug so I can drain the water heater either because I want to flush it or if I want to winterize the trailer. So this little set of tools is perfect again for no more than I use them but it gives me the right size and the right attachments for what I need. Now I'm no electrician but every now and then a multimeter comes in handy whether I want to come out here and actually check the voltage on my batteries to make sure the voltage meter inside is working properly or when our slide out wasn't working properly and the tech at Lippert asked me if I had a multimeter and had me run some simple tests on our slide out these come in really handy even if you really don't understand that much about them. Now this this is a really inexpensive one. I want to say I paid less than $10 for this one at Harbor Freight, but it's always done what I needed to do. But if you do need a higher end one or an upgraded one, they also sell more expensive ones as well. But for me, this has come in really handy for different types of troubleshooting with our electrical systems. And speaking of electrical systems, I always pick up fuses when I'm at Harbor Freight because they have these little kits that have all different size fuses in them. I just carry this with us so that way if we do pop a fuse in the box, I have plenty of fuses on hand and I always make sure I have the ones that actually fit the panel inside of our RV. Well, I'm not saying you have to have an infrared thermometer, but I actually like this. I picked this up. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for. It was fairly inexpensive, but I love it for things like being able to check the temperature of our grill plates to see if the uh, grill is working properly. I've also used it inside to check readings for our AC to make sure it's blowing at the proper temperature. And so this is kind of one of these devices that I don't use that often, but when I've needed one, it's come in real handy and they're a good deal at Harbor Freight. Now, when it comes to our hitch, these are some pretty big bolts on here. And so if I ever have have to make adjustments to the hitch or if I want to tighten up the bolts I'm gonna need a pretty good size wrench and Harbor Freight had me covered on this they sell these pipe wrenches fairly inexpensive come in different sizes. I actually own three different sizes um, and I carry the big one with me here and then I have a, that large socket set that I use on the other side and this will give me the grip that I need to either tighten this up if I need to make an adjustment or to tighten things back up but another item that I have bought at Harbor Freight relating to the hitch is sometimes when we hitch up, I'll notice the pin is missing. We use pins on several locations and they sell kits like this where you get an assortment of these pins. This particular set came with 150 and I believe there's about six different sizes. Don't use them that often, but if I lose a pin, I always have one. Even can help out other RVers if they've lost a pin. So these types of kits you can pick up at Harbor Freight very inexpensively and they come Come in handy when you need some. One of my all-time favorite purchases at Harbor Freight was my Predator 3500 watt generator and I'm gonna go ahead and link a playlist right up here for you where I review that and run lots of tests with it. It has been a great generator for us. Until next time everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.